Hi, George here. In order to talk about a new tool in Photoshop Elements 2026 that is great for cleaning up a dirty picture like this. Now, there's lots of problems in this one, lots of scratches, lots of dust marks, a lot of stuff going on in here. And I've done this video before using regular techniques where we use the clone stamp tool and just kind of paint things out or use the healing brush tool to try to remove some of the stuff with the healing brush tool. It's a lot of work to get all of these spots in this whole picture because the whole picture is covered with this stuff. But there's a new tool here in Photoshop Elements 2026 that does a great job with this. Now, even though we're focusing on one tool in this video, there are a lot of new tools inside of 2026 that are great. And of course, Photoshop Elements itself has a load of tools and techniques to use. If you want to learn what all of those are, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. Okay, let's go over here to the right-hand side. Right-click where it says Background and choose Duplicate Layer. This is just a safety. I always do this just in case. I want to keep a clean copy here. In case I mess things up, I can always go back and start again from that clean copy. Okay, let's go up here to Enhance and come down to Restore Photo. This is the new option here in 2026. Click on that. And Photoshop Elements is now going to go through, analyze the picture, decide what is a blemish and what isn't, and then clean all that stuff out. Let's go ahead and see how well this does. Okay, let's begin to apply the changes. Now, it isn't a super fast process, but compared to manually going through and cleaning all that stuff out, it's blazingly fast. So we'll give it a few more seconds, maybe 15, 20 seconds to finish this off. I'll just fast forward the video until that's done. There we go. It only took another five seconds, actually. So as you can see, beautiful, beautiful job on this. It missed a thing right down here. A couple little spots up in the sky, maybe. Just a beautiful restoration and that fast and that easy. Here's our before. Here's the after. Much, much better, as you can see. Now, we have some options down here. You can enhance the face. You can do photo enhancements and scratch reduction. But I don't think we need anything on this. I think everything looks just great. There's some more adjustments down here. You can do noise reduction, color noise reduction, or desaturate. If that happens to be a problem in your image, I don't think we have any problems with this. Let's click on OK. And that takes you back into the advanced mode right here. Let's see if we can fix this one little spot right there. The remove tool. I'm just going to tap that. And that should take that out just fine. There we go. That's fixed. And let's try a little bit of improvement here on the image, just the contrast and brightness. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels. Check that checkbox, choose OK. And let's bring our darks up a little bit here. There we go, and bring the lights in just a bit, just a bit more contrast. And there we go, I think that's a vastly improved photograph. So there's the original, and here's our new improved version, done very quickly here in the new Photoshop Elements 2026. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to learn a lot more about how to use this great new version of Photoshop Elements, including all the new features and all the existing features, all the tools, menus, panels, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.